Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 user interface development series. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at how we can get Unreal Engine to open up a new level when you press the start game button. Now there is quite a few things that we do need to keep in mind when we do this and that includes taking away the menu, loading up the level and making sure everything is all good. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive straight into it. So what we're going to be doing is using the on clicked event just like I showed you in some of the previous videos. So select your start button scroll all the way down in your details panel and just navigate to your on clicked event. Now at the moment you can see what I've told it to do is to simply print a string. I don't want that anymore instead we are going to tell it to open a level. And doing that is really really straightforward inside of Unreal Engine. So what I'm going to do is grab this execution pin and then just tell it to load um, or open level. And then with this, all that you need to do to open the level is simply put in the level name. Now with this level name, it is case sensitive and it has to be 100% correct. Otherwise it is not going to work. So what I'm going to do to make sure I get this right is to just make my little widget a little bit smaller there. And then what I'm going to do is just get the exact file name of the other level that I want to open. So if I go to open level, uh, by going to file and open level, and then if we open up our starter content and maps, we've got a couple of different levels in here. So the one that I'm going to take a look at is the starter map. And then with this, I'm just going to open it up, see if it's something that I want to load up. And if it is, then I'm just going to take that file name right there. And I'm just going to put it straight into my main menu widget in the blueprints that I've just been showing you. So I'm just going to give it a couple of seconds. My computer is awfully, awfully slow. And this starter level looks okay to load up into. So what I'm going to do is within here, I'm going to get the level name, which as you can see in the top left hand corner is starter map. So starter map just like that and like I said it is case sensitive or it's best to be case sensitive anyway so just get it and type it exactly as it is there. So now if we go ahead and open up our main menu level that we have created so let's go ahead and save this we can test this and make sure it is loading it up. So press play we've got our mouse cursor and just go ahead and click start it's going to sort of stop and pause for a couple of seconds while it loads up everything into the game. But after a couple of seconds, what it should be doing is opening up that starter map. And you can see it has now done that and it is perfect. Now, one thing you might want to keep in mind is that your inputs are not set up because your sort of input mode isn't right. And that's something that you should check out in the last video. So setting up that input mode, setting up your game modes and all of that good stuff. Now, one other thing that you might want to do is consider adding in a loading screen at this point. And that could be just a sort of extra little image. It doesn't have to be anything too fancy, just something that's going to be displayed while it's loading up that map as there was a gap there of about 10 seconds. So what you could do is after you open the level, you can remove the widget that there's, that's there already and doing that's really easy. You just type in remove from parent. And if the target is itself, it's going to close down this blueprint widget. And then what you do is just go ahead and create another widget within your loading screen. But other than that, it is all good to go. Anyway, guys, I hope this has helped you and you now know how to load up a level with your buttons inside of your UI. Once again, thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Keep creating. Your boy Virtus signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.